All right, everybody, welcome to the Verification Academy. I'm Tom Fitzpatrick, Strategic Verification Architect, and we're going to talk about UVM 1800.2 and the new improved UVM cookbook. All right, so what's happening with UVM 1800.2? Have a seat. Um, so uh, back in February 2017, the IEEE released 1800.2, which is a document that uh, basically documents the uh, class library for UVM. So the Accelerar working group since then has been working on a reference implementation. They've just released a 0.9 version of that reference implementation that matches 1800.2. Um, they're targeting a 1.0 release for Q3. Um, so basically the reference implementation includes some uh, mostly debug features and other things that go beyond what's in 1800.2, so they need to be documented. Um, and there'll be some bug fixes as well from the 0.9 version. So um, this reference implementation is going to match the 1800.2 spec. So now people will actually be able to start using 1800.2 as an IEEE standard. So um, at Mentor, we will be including 1800.2 in Questa um, as soon as things line up between the Accelerator release and the, the next Questa release. And we're hoping that by December um, in our next Questa release 10.8, 1800.2 um, will be the default library for UVM. So, the nice thing about 1800.2 is it actually only documents the API that the users actually call, so it gives us a lot of room underneath to optimize things um, for Questa, so we're going to be doing that as well. All right. Um, some key additions in 1800.2 since uh, UVM 1.2, so we've added accessor methods to everything. Um, this is a standard object-oriented programming practice. I think they might have taken it a little bit to, a, to an extreme, but it's there. We reorganized the UVM printer policy class, um, added um, abject object and component uh, factory registration. There's a new UVM do macro, so we've gotten rid of all of the dozen or so different flavors of UVM do macros, and now there's one. Um, and we've also added flexible register addressing, so um, you can have multiple maps, you can remap registers and things. Um, so we actually did a presentation about this uh, at DVCon. Um, which talks about all the new things that are um, in UVM, so you can take a look at that as well. 